my steps were eager as i returned to my garpar road home seeking the seclusion of my small attic i remained in meditation until 10 o'clock the darkness of the warm indian night was suddenly lit with a wondrous vision hallowed in splendor the divine mother stood before me her face tenderly smiling was beauty itself always have i loved thee ever shall i love thee the celestial stone still ringing in the air she disappeared this is house of paramans yogananda at 4 garpar street near apc road in calcutta guruji writes father embraced me warmly as i entered our garpa road home you have come he said tenderly two large tears dropped from his eyes ordinarily undemonstrative he had never before shown me these signs of affection Out, outwardly the grave father inwardly he possessed the melting heart of a mother in all his dealings with the family his dual parental role was distinctly manifest somnath ghosh grand nephew of master and his wife sarita ghosh can be seen in this picture this is the small attic room of master paramhans yogananda from this room he threw his luggage when he was flying towards himalayas baba ji maharaj visited in this same house before master left for america second place of pilgrimage is yss garpa road center in bhattacharya lane the dhyan mandir here was the first temple paramhans yogananda started to meditate with his friends divine mandir answered the prayer of mukund paramhans yogananda's childhood birth name who was in search of a suitable place nearer to his home at 4 garpa road where he could meditate along with his friends tulsi bose was the boyhood friend of paramhans yogananda who would often come to his home to meditate when his own house was too noisy this is calcutta deaf and dumb school which is just across the road in front of four garpar road mentioned by guruji in autobiography 50 amherst street kolkata is the third place of pilgrimage is where paramhans yogananda's mother had passed away later master bhaduri mahase resided here for many years paramhans yogananda and his brother had a vision of their mother while meditating here with master mahase master bhaduri mahase the levitating saint master paramhans yogayanand writes the yogi lives so close to my home that i often visit him my words brought keen interest to pindra's face and i made a further confidence i have seen him in remarkable feats he has expertly mastered the various pranayams of ancient eightfold yoga outlined by patanjali once bhadri mahashay performed the bhastika pranayam before me with such amazing force that it seemed an actual storm had arisen in the room then he extinguished the thundering breath and remained motionless in a high state of super consciousness the aura of peace after the storm was vivid beyond forgetting fourth place of pilgrimage is sri yukteswar's hermitage the hermitage subsequently has been replaced by a small temple which was constructed in 1973 the sri sri swami sri yukteswar smriti mandir i was conscious always that i was in the presence of a living manifestation of god the weight of his divinity automatically 
bowed my head before him. Daily life at the ashram flowed smoothly, infrequently varied. My guru awoke before dawn, lying down or sometimes sitting on the bed. He entered a state of samadhi. It was simplicity itself to discover when master had awakened. Abrupt halt of stupendous snores, a sigh or two, perhaps a bodily movement. Then a soundless state of breathlessness, he was in deep yogic joy. Human conduct is ever unreliable until man is anchored in the divine. Everything in the future will improve if you are making a spiritual effort now. Remember that finding God will mean the funeral of all sorrows. This is Bose Institute which is mentioned in Autobiography of a Yogi when Master met Jagdish Chandra Bose very close to his home at 4 Karpar Road. The Khineshwar Kali Mandir is the next place of pilgrimage where Guru Paramhans Yoganandji always used to go. An inspiration seized me. Tomorrow I said I am going to the Dakhineshwar temple. Please come with me and persuade your husband to accompany us. As I turned away without reply, he caught my arm. Young Mr. Monk, he said, don't forget to make proper arrangements with the temple authorities to provide our noon meal. I am going to meditate now. Do not worry about your lunch, I replied sharply. Divine Mother will look after it. The world receded as I became devotionally entranced. My mind was concentrated on Goddess Kali. Divine Mother, I silently remonstrated. Thou didst not come to me in vision, and now thou art hidden in the temple behind closed doors. I wanted to offer a special prayer to thee today on behalf of my brother-in-law. My inward petition was instantly acknowledged. Next place of pilgrimage is Babaji's at the Banyan tree, Raighat. Through the grace of my Param Guru, my book, The Holy Science, was finished in a short time. The morning after I had it concluded, my literary efforts must have continued. I went to Raigha, Raighat here to bathe in the Ganges. After a dip in the sparkling waters, I started for home. As I passed beyond the site of the large banyan tree near the river bank, a strong impulse urged me to look back there under this shade of the banyan and surrounded by a few disciples sat the great Babaji. Greeting Swamiji. The beautiful voice of the master rang out to assure me I was not Dreaming, I see you have successfully completed your book. As I promised, I am here to thank you. Next place of pilgrimage is Yogta Satsang Mat Dakhineshwar at UN Mukherjee Road. A stately Yogta Mat in Dakhineshwar fronting the Ganges was dedicated in 1939 only a few miles north of Calcutta. The Hermitage affords a heaven of peace for city dwellers. The Dakineshwar Mutt is the headquarters in India of Yogda Satsang Society and its schools, centers and ashram in various parts of the India. This is beautiful ashram and you must visit this ashram whenever you are coming in India which is situated very near to Dakshineshwar Kali Mandir. Scottish Church College, Paramhans Yogananda passed his intermediate examination in arts from the Scottish Church College, Kolkata, in June 1915. Master then graduated with a degree of Bachelor of Arts from Sri Rampur College. This college is situated at the bank of River Ganges. This is very close to Yukteswar Giriraj Ashram. Next place of pilgrimage is headquarters of Ram Krishna Mutt and Ram Krishna Mission. 
which is situated at an area named Belur in the district of Havra West Bengal India the entire campus of the headquarters is popularly known as Belur Math sprawling over 40 acres of land on the western bank of the river Hooghly Ganga the place is an hours drive from Kolkata it is having beautiful temple of Sri Ram Krishna Paramhansa and Swami Vivekanand so dear ones whenever you are coming to india please visit all these places which is associated with life and book of paramhans yoganand he has mentioned about all these places in autobiography of a yogi you can also visit the bronze statue of late bhagwati charan ghosh father of paramhans yoganand ji installed at sc railway employees cooperative credit society headquarter at garden reach kolkata on october 19 2020 to commemorate his contributions as founder of the society jai guru 